now. So I'll do a quick recap as Darcy sits inside the throne room with Claw after being uh, handled and manhandled back. His weapons taken away from him, cuffs in his, his hands cuffed up. He stands before the Thief Lord Claw as she looks down upon him with her guard surrounding him. She gives a sneer of satisfaction. Satisfaction. Well, you seem to be the one that has been giving us all these problems. It wasn't very nice of you to assault one of my men in your little disguise, no, was it? Lars, I have no idea what you're talking about. What disguise? There is no reason to lie to me, friend. Our little friend there is able to get your scent. And he was very familiar with the person who put a dagger in his back and dragged him away. We know well, it was you. Miss, I'm gonna be honest with you. I wear a very potent cologne. Very popular, too. You sure you're just not mistaking me for someone else? I don't think there's too many people of... He looks up, she looks you up and goes, Your stature that has that exact scent. <sighs> you know, it's... I like to think my stature, as you put it, is actually more common in uh, <clears throat> other places. You're sure you're just not mistaking me for someone else here? I promise you I'm not looking for a fight with you. You probably shouldn't have threatened one of my people, then. Swing here especially would be very, very interested to add your pretty little head to our collection. And as at that, you look over and the giant, giant tabaxi with the axe comes up behind you and goes, Aye, I'd very much like to add his pretty skull to my collection. Okay, can I ask a question? There's a fair bit of moisture on my palms, right, at this point? I'd say you're probably sweating pretty profusely. Okay, fair enough. You know, I'm not from this environment. It's really hot and humid. I'm sure I'm sweating a bit just because of that and nothing else. I'm just gonna ask if I can just uh, use that certain thing that I got. You know the thing I'm talking about, right? Okay, okay. Uh, just for the sake, roll me a sleight of hand check to see if you can do it without being noticed. Sleight of hand, second, and these are all GM rolls, right? Of course, GM roll. Okay, okay. and just regular sleight of hand? Yeah, regular sleight of hand, and okay, okay, there you go. Uh, just, just, hmm. uh, 17, not bad. 17, yes, yeah, 17. 17? Okay, yeah, sorry about that, I hit disadvantage. Yeah, you hit disadvantage, yep, I saw that. No, 17, no, you're right, no, so you got 17... Uh, you, you definitely, they don't quite notice as you, as the liquid from your, uh, your sweaty palms kind of slowly digs into the cuffs of your, as the water slowly goes into the cuffs from your palms. Alright, um, well, don't mind. Just gonna look at her, just like, and I got Swing next to me, right, and she's, uh, looks very eager with that axe of hers. Yeah, she's just got a... Like, you know, that whole back on the lob thing where they, like, rest it and aren't really holding it too firmly, but are definitely doing that show off yeah, I'm going to fucking murder you thing. All right, then. Uh... Fuck. Um... Yeah, and I got seven people in here. All right. Darcy is just going to... Darcy's expression just changes. Instead of that, like, s his normal smile, he just gets this very serious look on his face, and he just says, <clears throat> Lass, I don't think you know exactly who I am, or more specifically, who my father is. The claw looks over at you. <laughs> really? Your accent's changed a bit, but tell me, my friend, who is your dear daddy? Ragnar, you decide it'd be a good idea to drug and kidnap the son of Ragnar. I would suggest you let me go before I make my before I have to make an escape and go tell my dear old father what you've done, because I guarantee you once he hears of this, he will come down here himself and he will skin you alive and he will wear your pelt like a fucking bathrobe. 
nice. Okay, it's probably you pull out your debt. You pull out some of that, eh? Uh, okay, well, Claw's a little. Let's get the wall here. Yeah, yeah. No, Claw, Claw looks got kind of a little scared, but uh, I'll tell you what. Roll me your uh, roll me an intimidation check to see how well you you got this. I mean, it's not gonna be a high DC. You've got her riled up. But let's see how intimidated she is from that threat. All right, give me a second. Uh, intimidation. It's a natural one. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> uh, wait. Um, <laughs> okay. I, uh, uh. All right. No. Let's no, go. No, with you're, this. you're 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 fucked. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, as uh, you <laughs> give her give this spearling oh, screech of threat and things. Claw kind of like stops and laughs. Goes, well. Since you put it that way, I suppose the only thing we have to be able to do is make sure you're never able to talk to dear old dad again. Claw? Bug it, plan B. Oh, plan B. Uh, <laughs> kicking off the plan. I'm gonna do the thing. <laughs> okay, so you uh, go in there and use the thing. So what exactly are you doing with the water? I'm going to freeze it. So that the water expands in such a way that it breaks the line. Okay, okay, I'll allow it. Uh, roll me an Arcana check to see if your your mastery of this this ability is uh, able to do that specific thing and not just overflow out of the lock. Okay. Ah, oh, not bad. It's okay, okay. An 18, that's actually pretty damn good, man. As you, as you see, it, it fills the lock and it... Shatters all of a sudden. All of a sudden, your hands are free, and everybody kind of looks a little confusing as oh, the locks okay. fall down. All right. As soon as that happens, I'm just going to fuck. Uh, I'm just going to take Swing's axe because she said she was like kind of laying on it, sort of like lazily, like she's like that sort of like I'm going to kill you. Look, I'm going to grab the I'm going to try to grab the axe and then just aim for her neck and just try to like, like Effie said, just decapitate her. Okay. So uh, roll me a contested athletic check to see if he's. Rip free the axe from uh, fr from swing here, and okay, Pfft, yeah, fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, so uh, swing rolled a nat one, so <laughs> yes. Hey, you rolled it. You rolled an eight. That beats a nat one. So <laughs> I mean, no, listen, I'm a badass. All right, this is <laughs> this is how it's supposed to happen. Yeah, like you, you grab the axe away as he like. Totally unexpected and surprise. You swing the axe up and you take a grab. Roll me an attack roll as you take a quick swing with the axe. All right, attack roll. Give me a second to move over there. And... Uh, natural 20. Oh, fucking yeah, natural oh, 20. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm, uh, I, will, I will use a smite. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to sm smite that. And is it... So, oh, question. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... So, so, question for you then. So, with a smite, so that's going to be. Uh, unless she is a fiend or undead. She is not. <laughs> Alright, just have a check. Uh, so, with a smite, then. how much, well, What's the dice for the axe? The uh, axe is a d12. So, okay, you roll 2d12. Alright. No, oh, fuck Slash me. Yeah, yeah. 2 12. And then. And it would be plus. 4d8 for the smite. Alright, give me a second. That, and that. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, a, a 12, an 11, three sevens, and an 8. <gasps> okay, so you, 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 you take your axe and you just come up in a full swing and as your neck doesn't feel like it's about to go through her neck but as you suddenly you, you devil, fill that axe with divine energy her head just comes lopping off as it explodes oh with divine spirits it just goes flying through the air everybody's freaking out wondering what the hell just happened you got a second to do something uh, first off I want to say I'm a badass yeah fair enough second off I bolt into the stairs <laughs> and you Bolt down the stairs, and you go running down there, and all of a sudden, down you're getting you feel like you're being chased down. And uh, roll me an athletics check to see how fast you can run away from these guys. All right. Uh, can I also, as I'm running, just grab into that like little pouch that, like my secret little pouch that I keep on me, and just throw those ball bearings down the stairs? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. To try we'll to trip see. them off. You don't have to make a roll for that. You take the polar bears, you chuck it off, and I'll make a roll to see how these guys chasing you down, what they do. Uh, 
Well, that's a failure. Ooh, that's a 20 in my athletics. Oh, oh you fucking are down running, and everybody else is like, oh, that's a fail. Hey, you see the other guys, and they start falling down there as they can't catch up with you. As you you got to now have a lead. You start running through the hallway. You come in there, and all of a sudden, you end up finding yourself bursting into a room. And when you burst through the door, you see about about 15 or 20 freaking thieves people kind of playing cards and doing their thing as they look up at you as you burst into the room covered in blood from swing uh holding her axe and now uh very apparently not supposed to be there it's like what the fuck uh, is it grab their daggers and are about to move and make a move on you describe the room to me uh, uh you see uh it's about a one it's about uh a one a one and a half story stole you see like an upwards window with some tables and t- desks you see a couple chandeliers kind of hanging from the ceiling is there like a pillar like that might like goes to the roof? At yes, all? there's like, a, there is a like support the... pillar in the area. Yes, you, there is a support pillar. All right. Oh, this is gonna be so stupid. Okay, I want to try to climb up the pillar and like just like try to like swing onto the chandeliers and then try to like like make my way towards the window so I can like just sort of like swing. It. This is gonna be so bad. I swing my way out of it. Okay, you can definitely try. Uh, roll me another athletics to see if you can make it up the uh, chandelier. Uh, athletics, give me a second. Uh, 18. Yeah, 18, yeah, okay, I'll see. You. You're able to climb up there. As you make it up there and you get ready, then you you, you go for the and you, you leap across. So roll me a, uh, roll me an acrobatics, acrobatics to see if you can swing from chandelier to chandelier to that window. Alright. 14's not bad. I know, you start swinging, you start swinging, you're making it to the window, and you're finally about to make it. You you just leap into through the window as you as you bash through. Uh, you're going to take, as you fall, you, you know, you're, 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 you're in the second story, so you take four falling damage. You rack into the grove, roll onto Ow. your feet. Right? You, you look up, and the guys get stop him! And you, uh, as they come up through the door, a couple guys burst the door open. They start firing. Uh, one second here. Uh, Am I, like, on miss. the rooftops, or am I in the... Oh, no, the you're, you're kind of, like, uh, on the streets, right? You, 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 you have to climb up, right? Because there wasn't, like, a, 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 a... You had to go through the window down. It's not like a window yeah. is to a roof. So there, you do see, like, a place you could climb up, though, just nearby okay. where you can kind of, like, get, like, almost like a fire escape kind of thing. But first, these a couple, uh, three of these thieves are going to fire at you. And uh, oh, What's roll, your AC roll. there again, Darcy? Is, uh, I check here. Uh, 18. Okay, okay, that first one. Okay, 17 Wait. just misses you. Is a ting right off of Do you? Do I have my shield? No, you wouldn't. So you are at a 16. So the first arrow That's actually strikes point. you for two damage. Oh. I, I rolled a goddamn one. Uh, ha! <laughs> Yeah, is good. The, the other two shots are like that's a that's a fourteen and a, that's a five. Those are gonna miss. Whoo, whoo, the other two arrows go by as you start running through. As you got like a little cut along your legs, a little bit of full damage. Uh, roll me an out. Ath- uh, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna. I am going to try to climb up to that uh, rooftop so I can like get out of the streets for a minute. Okay, so you go climb up the rooftop again. One more athletic ship. You try to scurry up that rooftop. Fuck, why does it have to be athletics? 17. Nice. So you, you scurry up that, uh, up that rooftop and kind of bolt over there, and you start dashing across the side. As you do so, you kind of, like, leap across the ways and start seeing it. Now you see, like, a, 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 a rooftops across, of close buildings. are about, about five feet apart for each thing. As you start running, you, you can run and gap and jump between each one uh what are you doing up there i i'm just gonna start trying to make my way to a more populated area like just trying to like just from just do i hear like commotion like what time of day is it at this oh uh, you're, you're getting uh, it's pretty late in the day honestly at this point you're looking just between nightfall but uh, you do see the nightlife of the city still starting to starting to kick out a tad you see basically some lights in the bazaar area probably a good uh Let's say 400 feet away, where you think people All would right, be. All right, I'll start. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start heading over there then. Um, just I'm gonna. At first, I'm gonna start like trying to cross the rooftops, and then if I see like a good point to where I could potentially get down to the streets, I'm gonna do that. Okay, roll me. Uh, roll me a uh, perception check as you're running across the roofs to see if you can find a good spot to get down. Nope. Uh, that that that's a five. 
Yeah, okay, you keep running, you keep running, you can't seem to find a spot as you keep running, and eventually you come to what looks to be the end where there's like a massive gap of 15 feet between you and the next building. As you do so, you look over your shoulder and you can start seeing that the tabaxi thieves have started climbing up after you. Uh, fuck. Is there like one of those little stands down there that have like the cloth, like, roof sort of thing, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, like okay, the thing we call uh, FEN? Roll me a perception check to see if you can see it. It's kind of dark out, we'll see if you can see something. Oh, uh, 20. That's 20. Oh, you can definitely see a stand. So you see that you see that little stand there. Uh, what are you gonna do? Fuck it, because I'm never gonna get the opportunity to do this again. I'm gonna Assassin's Creed, just like leap of faith, just and then just tumble over so my legs are facing out and like dispersing my uh, momentum out as much as I can to try to break my fall. <laughs> Okay, there will be an acrobatics to see if you can kind of go into the into the into the roll here with that to break your fall. Not bad, not bad. Oh, man. Yeah, so I say that's enough that you are able to catch it just right and kind of roll into it as you ro get up and start running again. You don't take any fall damage. It gets you back up in time. They start bursting into the crowd. Uh, the tabaxis are right up at you, but the, you, you probably have about one round, maybe two, before they find you and uh, point you out. You do see like a crowd of people kind of gathering around, though. All right, I'm going to. Um, is there any sort of like? loose clothing like hanging out the dry or something like that just like or just like any cloth that I could just like throw over my shoulders and like over my head or something just to sort of like I'll, I'll say, uh, hide you're, my you're, parents. you're by the bazaar say there's actually like someone sell a Tibet that you see like a, a store veller selling like blankets and cloths and some various uh, stuff like that by the side uh, if you want to take it you just gotta roll me a sleight of hand check to see if they notice you as you run past I'm not bad at those so okay uh Natural twenty. Twenty, yeah. You swipe that thing, and you you have you have that cloth in your hand. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna very like, like just kind of like just wrap myself and just start kind of like weaving my way in between. Thanks, as sir. I just start making my way to the other end of the bazaar. Okay. As you're mute, I'm gonna need one last check. Yeah, just roll me a either deception or performance to see if you can blend in with the crowd. I'll let you pick. I will go with deception. Okay, pretty, really good, man, as you, you put that deception on and you blend in the crowd, and as you do, you disappear into the night and avoid the watches. You hear the tabaxis in the back, and goes, Where did it go? Claw will kill us if we do not find that person. Look around! And as they start looking around for you, unable to find you, you escape into the night and avoid all detection. Oh, fuck! It's pretty fucking impressive, man. I, uh... You got lucky as fuck. You got those rolls when you needed them and the damage when you needed it. Dude, like, look at all these. Like, I'm... Oh, my God. Yeah, no, man, you rolled great, man. You fucking killed it. <sighs> this was... <laughs> this is fucking crazy, man. I can't double... The... So you said you wanted to share this bad boy right away? I mean, did you want to share this or did you want this to be a surprise for the party? Uh... I, good, I, we might as well share it. We might as well share it, so then we don't have to go through the whole explaining everything. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, because yeah. because then, because at that point, it's just like I like having my secrets, but it's just like I don't want to have them just be like, oh, hey, you know, it's just like because then I gotta explain to them everything, and it's just uh, it, this is easy. Uh, bit, I trust them not to meta game. Okay, well, I will stop the recording here then, and I will uh, get this posted up and ready to go.